Before the video starts, I would like to point out that I did record this with Lilia, my two-month-old daughter, strapped to my chest, so you might hear her making some little cooing sounds throughout the video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to this week's Last Day on Earth Survival News. Today we've got a few things to cover, everything from patch notes to dev leaks. So get yourself a cup of tea, sit back and enjoy. Update 1.14.1 has recently hit the stores and with it we see some pretty major reworks to how we interact with Sector 7, most notably the addition of Thirst and Hunger, which were previously not factors for consideration beyond the wall. We now have access to blue raspberries, red raspberry tea, some delicious generic tin food, multiple packets of military rations, actually an item I personally tried to get the devs to add to the game months ago as a unique item with floppy crates that give you some buffs. Anyway, we can also consume water, sugar and bags of rice with the weed symbol on them. We also see the addition of some new medicinal items, not whiskey, which require some time to fully heal you. The antibiotic injections can also cause an overdose if you use more than two in a row. When overdosed, you are unable to use workbenches, craft or barely move. And on top of that, it causes your health to regen incredibly slowly. So remember, don't do drugs, kids. Too much of a good thing ends badly. The change praised by many players is to the outpost in Sector 7. The storm will now only wipe out all of your progress once every seven days. Why the devs still feel the need to keep this system is a complete mystery to me and I for one have no intention of playing Sector 7 until it is removed entirely. We are also now able to construct items for free at the outpost, which is nice I suppose. And finally the developers have been tinkering away in the servers to decrease lag and connection speed, so hopefully you'll have less zombies causing damage to you after you've already killed them. Bug fixes. I've no intention to go over these in depth, enjoy the bug fix list. Fix the fetid corpse animation, fix the emergency close issue after launching the game, fix the mechanic points not displaying properly, fix the game auto closing on Amazon Fire tablets, fix localization mistakes in the description of chopper model, fix the issue in which one of the boxes in the basement could be opened through a wall, fix the issue of the toxic spitter spit disappearing immediately after death, fix the gas not displaying correctly in the third floor of Bunker Alpha, fix the issue that stopped Corgi's learning all skills, fix the issue that caused some NPCs to randomly vanish, fix the issue of engines and generators being sent to your inbox, fix the unkillable zombie of the Blackboard PD, fix the bug that caused NPCs at the rest stop event to duplicate. Whew, that was a lot of bug fixes. It's definitely a nice change to see the devs telling us what they've fixed in the updates too. However, I don't doubt that there will be some hidden changes that have not been mentioned and will later cause outrage among the masses. Or maybe not. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next up is the under development section, recently featuring something not under development. The zombie truck has been on the crafting screen since the game first released and the league game designer has been outspoken about how he feels it is not going to be needed in the game and that there is no use for it. Well, this week we saw the post of not every idea of our team reaches the final realisation. It often happens that yesterday's drafts just don't work with current changes. The same happened to the brutal minivan, or zombie truck. After its creation, it didn't find its place in the present in-game reality. However, we never know if someday it will be returned. What this post means, in my opinion, is that the devs didn't have anything to share in the under development section, and people have been asking about the truck, so they made it clear that it has no planned use at the moment, but it may do sometime in the future. Alrighty then, I'm going to end the video with this last bit of information. Season 1 has now ended and the devs are underway developing season two. And we can all only hope that for once they listen to their community and their testers and actually make the changes we unilaterally suggest. Thank you very much for watching and listening everybody. I do hope you have all enjoyed. Goodbye.